Okay, I've been putting this off for too long, and um, this is like a really old bottle, and it's really pretty cool. Look at this. What in the world am I going to do with this? Something, I guarantee you, something cool. And this is sort of, uh, man. Kind of, you know, this might look like because I'm in Denver, I'm here with a bunch of pot plants. No, these are called trees from heaven, and um, or some call them sumac, they're from Asia and they're very invasive uh, weeds and they can cause a lot of problems. The thing about them is when you snip them to, um, to like extra plants grow off every time you snip it so you have to get a certain kind of um, brush killer for these because they turn into that tree and people think they're trees but then they have all these roots underground and it's sort of like um, sort of like our society you know it's been a lot of uh, different people, a lot of different ideologies, um, a lot of different groups, and a lot of different labels. And I think we're finally coming to a paradigm shift, thanks to technology bridging the gaps. And, you know, everybody's philosophy is kind of like this Clorox bottle, you know, brown. It's old. And... Whatever's in there, most people have probably been convinced it's pretty dangerous. It's got a it's got a uh, crest on it, and uh, it sort of reminiscent of um, a uh, secret society that holds secrets, um, controls the weather and stuff, or for all we know. But and then you got this one kind of plain but different shape and now people are starting to be able to communicate ideas that previously maybe uh, weren't properly understood or communicated and people are changing their minds about different things starting to sort of come together we got this crypto thing. Um, another thing that people fear for um, the uh, well, the biblical reasons, which is, um, of course, we will not be able to buy or sell if you have this mark or whatever. Um, and that could be a, a direction that... Um, is worth avoiding having but from the start here what we have is people understanding that um, value is with crypto something that is based on it um, representing something that's of value right uh, I saw something about electricity being represented by a crypto uh, backed by electricity which is pretty much what the um, petrol dollar, the American dollar was, um, is, and uh, there's XYO, which is um, a uh, alternative to the um, GPS, which is only government satellite, you know, the, the standard GPS. This is a private business GPS, which, um, you know, hopefully gives more security. I mean, it, it um, should, especially with the blockchain. Um, from what I understand, that's what it is about is, you know, the group that is in charge of business really shouldn't um, have knowledge of your whereabouts all the time because that could be used. Um, 
by someone, a competitor who has more money or whatever, you know, um, you know, the danger, of course, with um, companies becoming too conglomerated, too big is them running the government and it basically becoming socialism, it's just the opposite or um, communism, you know, what people consider communism is government running all the business if business runs the government um and it's just one big business it's not much different same thing basically so that's a um another thing that um this change in um um marketplace uh is helping to um avoid and the um, Europeans looks like they want a high-speed flight rail or um, rail system instead of airplanes as well which will be really cool because they're faster more economical um, and anybody who's um, starting to ponder the high-speed rail um, of course the coolest one is the one in China where it, it drops the last cart, never stops, goes up over, phew, drops that one, and then the people are ready to go. You know, you get to the last cart when you're getting off, it lets it go, phew, you go under, there's another cart already there, the last one dropped, it picks that one up, that's the people that are going on it, and uh, never has to stop, which is what slows down the light rail. So... Um, I got a lot of ideas about um, um, ways to um, uh, help shape these things as well, and um, I'm going to be uh, including those more and um, some uh, art and NFTs soon. Um, but right now, all I got is a phone, and I figured I might as well get started because I'm going to be getting my setup going soon, like a real setup. But this is just on the phone and an introductory of where things are at. They're in a slump, but I think um, there's a lot of reason to be optimistic. And uh, just wanted to share uh, my ideas about um, why to not be too scared or good um, directions to look in if you're looking to um, um, invest or be a part of something. Um, I think Ethereum and Bitcoin are probably good bets that they'll be around because of um, all the things that they're already doing and able to do. Maybe um, ones that use less gas. Uh, and miners look like a good investment. Um, buying miners, uh, of course, to do that with solar panels would be the best idea because... Uh, Energy is not very cheap without it. So, um, yeah. This is looking good. This is looking cool. Electric bikes, electric scooters. And uh, I'll be back with more in interesting information. For sure.